I'm Darren Karp, and with me today are the recently unmasked singers, the first duo unmasked in mass singer history, the Snow Owls. I've got Clint and Lisa Black here. How are the two of you doing today? Good, how are you? You know, I was, I thought you two were siblings at first, and then when you kissed last episode, I was like, I really hope they're not siblings. They gotta be, they, they better be a romantic couple. So I'm glad to see you two. You know, you two were the first duo unmasked on The Mass Singer ever. Your snow owl costume was adorable and so cute. But I ask Clint, how difficult was it to move around in that thing? Uh, it was impossible. It was, uh, well, first of all, we couldn't see. Uh, we're in this, this tiny egg, so we're kind of locked into place. Uh, our shoulders are broader because of the s feathers and all of that stuff. So it was uh, it was different and uh, hot. And um, and of course, uh, as soon as you start steaming up that mask, the eyes go foggy and the bright lights just become this big haze. And so now you're you're not only masked, but uh, the rest of the world is masked and uh, it's kind of different. <laughs> it's definitely different. Lisa, did you feel like you and Clint grew closer from spending so much time choreographing a performance in a two-person costume slash egg, or were you just annoyed with him most of the time? I think it's a little of both, <laughs> though. I, I mean, you know, you, I think you have no choice but to grow closer, because we were forced to, it was the first time we'd ever done anything. We've done a lot of stuff, you know, music and television and film, and it's the first time we had ever done anything like that, obviously, and you're a real fish out of water. And, um, you know, we had a lot of things to overcome, you know, the, the logistics of it all, not just the mask, but uh, so we could lean on each other. And yeah, I mean, I, we, the funniest times I think for me were, um, and probably those headbutting times were at night, we would come back and go to the hotel, go into the bathroom in the mirror, and we would practice our choreography. And we were either laughing hysterically or fussing about hand movements. No, like this, like this. Yeah. I mean, you just, this... Or fussing that I didn't want to go in there and rehearse in front of the mirror. <laughs> We've got to rehearse again, I would say. You know, I, I think uh, Lisa grew up in front of the mirror with a, you know, a hairbrush, you know, <laughs> singing her favorite songs. And uh, I was out in the living room with a tennis racket, you know, I didn't care what I looked like. And so uh, I wasn't I wasn't always, uh, you know, game for going and rehearsing in front of the mirror. But it uh, I was made to do it and it paid off. I was going to say, I kind of have a fondness for snow owls because of you two now, you know, and, and Clint, to Lisa's point, you two are just country superstars. You've done everything. You two are legends. Were you nervous to perform on The Masked Singer? Oh, yes. Well, you know, you got to <laughs> tense up anytime you're performing or if you're not taking it seriously enough. Yeah. But uh, we're, you know, we're professionals. We know how to talk to ourselves in our head, you know, say things like, you're so great and don't worry about it. You got this, you know, <laughs> no, we, we but... have those conversations though. We're, you know, we've, we've been nervous enough. I've, you know, done the Super Bowl halftime and, you know, some things where it's not quite what I do normally on my stage with my crew and all that. Mm -hmm. So you, you have those moments where you feel a little uh, on edge about it, but uh, you know, we know what to say to ourselves and to each other. We had each other to lean on too. Yeah, it was just good. But, it, but it, you know, again, it's you're putting on a mask and you've got this stuff on, then you're in an egg and then you want to step, you don't want to step on each other because it's really little movement. Then you have to move the egg downstage on a certain line. So it was unusual. You know, a lot of social media users guessed it was you two, but Nicole was the only judge to actually guess it correctly. Lisa, were you surprised? Yes and no. I mean, when we were uh, rehearsing I would hear you know he's got such a distinct distinctive sound um, you know it's Clint Black when you hear it I mean let's face it so I know, knew it he knew it yeah <laughs> everybody and so we would there were certain lines and I would go nope it's gonna give it away and he'd go what I go I'm telling you you, you can't know? do that thing you do you can't do that thing you do right so it, it didn't really surprise me and I mean then the first night we were on so many fans on Twitter and on social media, they were calling and we just go, mm, you know. I wouldn't react at all. I became a really good liar to all my friends <laughs> yeah. and, and family. Yes, Master creates manipulators out of all of you. Uh, I, I've, I've witnessed that from interviewing all of you guys. You know, I have to ask though, who do you both think is going to be crowned the champion of this season of The Masked Singer? Who have you guys heard that you just think has a phenomenal voice? 
I don't think I know. He doesn't know. I know. No. I know who everyone is. I know what they had for lunch. <laughs> I know who's going to win. He doesn't know anything. I know it all. Who doesn't know anything about anything? We have no idea. I mean, there's so many good singers. You know, Sun is incredible and Seahorse and oh, I'm blanking right now. But it's it's been yeah. a vocally very strong season, no question. So it's going to be fun to see. Yeah. Brad Pitt is putting – I mean – uh, <laughs> yeah, Brad Pitt wishes you could sing like that. <laughs> Ignore the man in the hat. Yeah, exactly. Well, listen, I know that you guys are performing at the Ryman Theater on December 2nd, and Lisa, you're going to be a special guest. What can you tell fans about this? Will they be able to live stream it? How will we be able to see it? Live stream it. I'm going to be a special guest, and we're going to be singing a new duet that he's written for us. It's called Till the End of Time. And we're so excited. You should tell yeah, them. Yeah, inspired to... by uh, duetting again together on The Masked Singer. So uh, go to clintblack.com and you can get your uh, $9.99 to, uh, to live stream it uh, to your home. And you'll also, we'll throw in a set of Ginsu knives and a Pope Hill's Pocket Fisherman. And, <laughs> For easy no, look, payments of $39. We're not sure those are coming through, but uh, you will be able to see the show. It's our first full concert since the lockdown. And yeah. Um, and then the uh, the new single will perform that there, and it'll be available for streaming on the third. But you can pre-save that in all the ways that kids know how to pre-save things. Kids. And uh, oh, the kids <laughs> well, know. speaking of kids, Lily's going to be sitting in as well. Our daughter yeah. Lily. So yeah. we're excited. She made her Opry debut on Halloween, and uh, she has the bug. She's a second-year music student at Belmont, uh, just down the road. So, so she's going to sing uh, at the Ryman show. It'll be a family affair. That is incredible. And before I let you go, did you get to take home the snow owl costume or not? No. No, we've made our own. They're not as good. They, but they're out. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to pee a little bit easier and move around them a little bit easier. <laughs> Clint, oh, Lisa. Like that, yeah, yeah, it's much easier. <laughs> no, actually it wasn't necessary because you sweat so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I honestly don't know how you guys can sing that well, dressed up in snow owls, not being able to pee, and being confined in an egg. Yet you two are legends for a reason. Clint, Lisa, thank you so much for being here today. You did such an incredible job on The Mass Singer. Thank you so much. For having us. Thanks. People, you can watch new episodes of The Mass Singer every Wednesday at 8, 7 Central on Fox. Purchase tickets to Clint's performance live stream or in person at 25% capacity at clintblack.com. And don't forget to pre-order Clint's new single, To the End of Time, featuring the beautiful The Hartman Black, coming out December 3rd.